Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about multiple myeloma. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Multiple myeloma is abbreviated as MM. It is also known as plasma cell myeloma. It is basically cancer of plasma cells. Plasma cells are a type of white blood cells that produce antibodies. Now let us see about the etiology of multiple myeloma. In multiple myeloma, the tumor cell arises from proliferation of monoclonal plasma cells which produce immunoglobulin G. It is most common in people over the age of 60 years. Now let us see about the bone marrow findings in multiple myeloma. Bone marrow biopsy will reveal neoplastic plasma cells with fried egg appearance which are derived from B lymphocytes. This picture shows the neoplastic plasma cells derived from B lymphocytes and they have a fried egg appearance in bone marrow biopsy. Now let us see about the peripheral blood smear findings in multiple myeloma. There will be rule formation of erythrocytes in peripheral blood smear. This picture shows the rule formation of erythrocytes in peripheral blood smear in multiple myeloma. Now let us see about the bones in multiple myeloma. There will be light lesions in bones. This is produced by osteoclast activating factor which is secreted by neoplastic cells in multiple myeloma. This picture shows the light lesions in multiple myeloma. Now let us see about the clinical features of multiple myeloma. Due to lightic lesions, there will be bone pain and fractures. There will be renal insufficiency, recurrent infections and primary amyloidosis. Now let us see about imaging findings in multiple myeloma. There will be punched out lightic lesions on x-rays in multiple myeloma. This picture shows the punched out lightic lesions in forearm x-ray. Now let us see about the laboratory findings of multiple myeloma. There will be monoclonal immunoglobulin spike that is M protein spike on serum protein electrophoresis. This picture shows the M protein spike on serum electrophoresis. There will be bench Jones proteins in urine. Bench Jones are basically immunoglobulin G light chains. There will be anemia. ESR will be elevated. There will be hypercalcemia. There will be hyperglobulinemia especially immunoglobulin G and there will be azotemia that is the urea and creatinine levels will be elevated. Now let us see about the treatment of multiple myeloma, chemotherapy and autologous stem cell transplantation are the various treatment options available for multiple myeloma. Now let us see about monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance. It is abbreviated as MGUS. It is basically asymptomatic disease. In this there is monoclonal M protein spike but it is less than 3 gram per deciliter. In contrast to multiple myeloma, there is no Ben Jones proteinuria in MGUS. There is no lytic bone lesions and there is no renal insufficiency. However, these patients are at risk of developing multiple myeloma. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my hematology playlist. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.